Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. My name is Anubhav and today I'll be talking about ChatGPT for web development and tell you guys that you can create your own website using ChatGPT even if you don't know how to code. ChatGPT is an advanced language model based on GPT 3.5 architecture and it can be incredibly useful for web development projects. But before I tell you more about web development with ChatGPT, if you want to become a software developer, then consider our postgraduate program by Caltech in full stack web development by Simply Learn and master those necessary skills. The link or to the course will be in the description box below and pin comment. You can also reach out to us on the numbers that are given below and learn more about the program. So let me tell you what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is a machine model that generates human like text responses. It's been generated on a massive data set of text and can generate highly accurate responses to a wide range of queries. But how can ChatGPT be used for web development? There are a number of ways. For example, ChatGPT can generate website content, improving SEO and boosting engagement. ChatGPT can also be used to create chatbots that can interact with customers in a natural and engaging way. Now, Let's look at some of the real life examples of how ChatGPT has been used for web development. So, for example, if I ask ChatGPT to create an e-commerce website for me, it will easily create it. So let's see it. Please create a website for me in HTML and CSS. So there is one point that I wanted to tell you guys. If you want to ask ChatGPT for anything, just give good description about it so it can give you a good response. If I tell you uh, tell it more about my uh, requirements, it will generate good uh, quality of product. Okay, so let me tell it. Please create a website for me in CSS and HTML. That should some. Colors like orange and blue right and where yeah, i'm selling okay now lay wait for the response of chat gpt it will create us the things the code okay now it's writing the HTML code, right? So I'll tell you more about it. Like for example, e-commerce sites use ChatGPT to generate product descriptions, improving their SEO and uh, driving sales. Customer service team use ChatGPT to create automated chatbots that can help customers with common queries. And there are so many other things also like uh, content creators also use ChatGPT to generate engaging content for their website, right? So let's wait a couple of minutes more until it gets completed, right? So as you can see, it's giving us a proper response of everything as it created this file for us. And we can just easily copy it from here. And I have logged into my online editor. You can open any editor if you want. So this is the online editor that I'm working on right now. I'll clean this. So as you can see, e-commerce website is ready, right? So this is a very basic website, but ChatGPT has created this for us. It's a very easy website, like very basic, but as the instructions that I gave it, it applied all the things that it's using yellow color, but I asked for orange, but it's fine. I asked for blue color. So this is also fine. But before asking chat GPT, you should know a little bit about coding, right? So in H1 tag here, you have to write the heading. It's the header tag inside that it's the H1, the heading one. Okay. So here I'll write my website name. I'll write website and then you can see it's showing website right so 
How can you use ChatGPT for your own web development projects? First, you have to familiar yourself with the programming languages and tools that are compatible with ChatGPT. And it will only knows the data until 2021. So once you are done that, you can experience with ChatGPT to see how it can benefit your project. Right? If I ask him to create Wait, I'll show you guys some of the things that ChatGPT can do. Create a header. So, I've told ChatGPT to create a header and make it functional. And also add page, product page and contact us page. Make it a little more, I have written, make it attractive, right? So, let's see. It will write us a code for that. So until then, let me tell you the use cases. So as I already mentioned, ChatGPT has already proven its values in various web development scenarios. For example, e-commerce platform use ChatGPT to generate product descriptions, boosting their search engine optimization and driving more sales. Customer service team employ ChatGPT to build interactive chatbots that provides instant and accurate responses to customer queries, enhancing the overall user experience. So, optimize the generated content from SEO ensures that the text generated by ChatGPT aligns with relevant keywords and follow SEO best practices. Right? So, with the help of ChatGPT SEO things, this can help improve your website visibility in search engine results and it can create natural and authentic chatbot experience. So, when using ChatGPT to develop chatbots, focus on creating conversation that feels like human. Use context and personalization to ensure user engagement and build trust. Leverage ChatGPT for customer engagement beyond generating content, right? ChatGPT can help engage user on your website also. For instance, you can use it to develop uh, interactivity and so many other things. Okay. So now let's see what Chat GPT has created for us. Right. Let's copy this and paste it on the online editor that I have showed you. I don't recommend using uh, online editor. You can have a Visual Studio code. It's very good. So it doesn't have any CSS, I guess. Yeah. Add your customer uh, custom styles for product pages here. Yeah. So as I know, we have to write the CSS here, but it's fine. I have to show you something different. So as I told it to create an e-commerce website, so it give uh, given its name as welcome to uh, e-commerce website, but we can change it from here. The title of the website, we can change it, right? And I have told it to create home product and contact page, right? As I have showed you. So it has created the same thing that I have told ChatGPT to create for me. As in the products page, there's no things added right now, but we can add it. Add your products and their details here. As it's written in the code also, I guess. Yeah. In the section part, we can add our product and the things that we want, right? Now, Let's ask ChatGPT to create circle, create five circle different radius or 20 pixels to 100 pixel, right? And uh, Different files and colors blue and orange. Now let's see whether it can create five circles of different radius for us or not. Right? And now it's writing the HTML file for us. Let's wait a couple of seconds to see whether it can create. So it given us the things we want, but I don't think so. It has different uh, radius. 
okay as you can see in the css part it is given everything a different height and width let's copy the css first or html anything you want and we'll paste it on the online editor let's go again and copy the html part also and paste it here now we will down and as you can see the first circle is small and then the last one is the largest one right so as you have given it the chat gpt the instructions that i want this thing or that thing it has created the same thing that i told him to do right so it's all about instructions but as i know that this is width and height this is very simple thing but when you'll uh, code on python or java script or java it'll be a very complex things so i recommend first learn the language and then use chat gpt to improve it right so many developers and uh, programmers use chat gpt to enhance their productivity not to learn it so it's very good for learning purpose also if i tell it i want to learn java as i say java from where should start learning it give me some princess and some good sides from where i can start with the links of them right so i asked chat gpt to tell me from where should i start learning the ht uh, java so it's now telling that's great java is a popular programming language as there are many resources available to help you learn it here are some of the website and resources where you can start learning java right so it's giving me oracle java tutorials it's very good to learn java from uh, java programming on coursera it's giving some of the renowned java certification courses but i recommend you to take our java certification full stack java certification the link will be in the description box for that it's a very good certification for a um, newly uh, starting uh, developer or programmer or uh, experienced one also so from there you will start learning java from scratch so that is also very good you can also check it out right so as i told it to give me the instructions from how to uh, learn java so it just gave me everything with the links right so now let's get to give me any projects ideas for react yes right so now it's uh, telling me uh, you can create a project on react for from starting from to do list which is a very basic app when you start learning any language you started by from to do list only or to do app whatever you say next one is weather app movie library which is also very good practice for library uh, for uh, react developers to start learning react from and the e-commerce store is a founder chat application and these are the 10 projects that they uh, the chat gpt told us to learn right so it's very good you can ask it anything if you don't know anything like uh, i'll tell you react js right i don't know thing about react js Please read about it. So I told it I don't know anything about React.js. I know about React.js, but it's like I want to see what it's saying. You can also check out the projects that I have created on React on this Simply Learns YouTube channel. So as it's saying everything, certainly React.js is a popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It was developed by Facebook and it is widely used for building single page application. 
it's a dynamic uh, application so some of the key points of react component based architecture virtual dom and declarative syntax unidirectional data flow react hooks and so many other things so as you don't know in any, anything about react it will tell you to get started with react you can begin by learning fundamentals of javascript and familiarize uh, yourself with html and css once you have a good understanding of these technologies you can explore react.js by following tutorials reading documentation i recommend documentation because it's very good you will get a deep understanding of that then move to tutorials and all and build small projects it is also very good thing start from uh, learning from the projects you will learn more react official document is here so excellent resource to learn react.js from scratch Additionally, there are various online courses, tutorials, and YouTube channels dedicated to teaching learning uh, React.js, such as React course on these platforms. And you can also learn React from our YouTube channel. Remember to, to, to practice regularly, build projects to refine uh, your learning, and leverage the React.js community for support and guidance. Working out at my job position for several years, I realized I was missing touch. With my, I was for a promotion and also I went and took the full stack Java development course at C Developer. But the course was very good. I have not only learned Java, but I've also learned uh, other technologies. I've been exposed to emerging technologies such as uh, Docker, TestNG, Selenium, Jenkins, and other. And I think SimpleLens course helped me to go back to the basics. All right. Not just that, I'm not earning three times more than what I used to be better and better. Uh, and it's because I'm always learning. So in conclusion, ChatGPT offers tremendous potential for web development projects. Its ability to generate human-like text response opens up new uh, possibilities for automation content creation, enhancing customer experience and improving overall website performance. I encourage you guys to explore ChatGPT and experiment uh, new things with its capabilities in your own web development endurance. So this brings us to the end of this video on ChatGPT for web development. We hope you had a lot to learn and if you have any suggestions or doubt, please write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.